Tesla yep. is releasing a phone. Yeah. 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 I've, you heard uh, about this? I've been waiting to hear about this because I knew that it was happening, but I, I don't have any info. So here we go. Very excited. Lifewire. Uh, Tesla phone news and expected price, release date, specs, and more rumors. Now, before we read it, Tesla's got pretty good history of releasing products, right? Like their car was rated like best car in the world, right? And there's a lot of area for improvement in the phone game. Mm. So I was sort of thinking, this is going to be great. Like, so much wonder... area for improvement. Yeah. But it's basically a monopoly. 100%. And then there's just those other weirdos like, yeah. Yeah. I don't rock a uh, Samsung nor an Apple phone, just for anyone who's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what I've got. I'm going to keep it a... Good, well kept. It's hard to pronounce. We'll just say that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to pronounce my phone's name, by the way. But anyway, so the Tesla phone, you know, okay, so let's, I'm going to ask you this. I'm a proud owner of the the Apple Club. What? What's going on? What was that? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. (laughs) The, the, um, okay, so let's, let's assume before we read any of the stuff, what would you want to fix about phones? And I'll start. We'll go one each, right? First one, I want, a battery that doesn't fuck out after like a year. That's one. It's my most important. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, okay, so after a year, yeah, that's a tough one. Mm. That is a tough one. Mm. Um, what would you change about a phone if you could? Like about how what phones do nowadays? Um, just speed. I think is a is a big one for me. Speed. Yeah, my phone randomly just quits. I'm faster than my phone. Oh, okay. I'm way faster than my phone. Yeah. My phone is like... The, I'll be typing and shit and moving between apps and uploading content and it just crashes. And I'm just yeah. like... What Come is on. this? So you want it more powerful? Um, yeah, I think a more powerful phone would be... Yes. Yeah. Like step, step, step it up a little bit. Yeah. So uh, we don't need... I don't need a, a fourth camera. Yeah, why do I need you three to, cameras? Or were you to take away features on my iPhone, like being mm. able to plug headphones in. Thanks. Yeah, that's another one. Headphones. Like, why can't we plug those in anymore? Do you own headphones you can plug in? Not anymore. Neither. <laughs> I don't own headphones you can plug in. No, that's a lie. I do. And my phone <laughs> does have a 3.5 millimeter jack. It does? It does. Yeah, okay. But like this brand of phones, if you guys know it, they they keep the 3.5 millimeter jack for that reason. Yeah. My phone also has an IR blaster. What's that? Meaning that I can control a TV with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. TV, your uh, heater, just whatever has got... I think, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty close to switching. So, I'm glad that this is, this is happening. Yeah, no because doubt. Because Apple... It's user interface that I'm comfortable with and I've been using for so long. Yes. It's difficult now to move over when... The argument isn't settled that it's a, there are better phones out there. Yeah. If no. someone's like, the Tesla phone is so much better than the Apple phone, I'll be like, let's go. Yeah. I'm willing to learn a new user interface for guaranteed better experience. 100%. Well, that's why I switched over to Android. Yeah. And for the first month, I actually downloaded a iOS emulator, which meant that all of my icons and everything, all my menus were the same. I know a as lot iOS. of people that do that, yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to get used to it. But, um, but anyway, let's let's read up a little bit about this one. If we could just zoom in a little bit, bro. Uh, Release all right. date. All right. So uh, has circulated the internet. How likely is the smartphone release? No credible sources. Okay. Tesla has a history of releasing interesting, though still on brand. Pro- okay, can we scroll down a little bit? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, there are a few primary reasons we're questioning whether this phone is due for an actual release. Okay, maybe we scroll past that. Tesla watch coming soon. Okay. Definitely not. Smartwatches and phones are yesterday's technology. Neuralinks are the future. Right. So he's not making a phone? No, he's not making a watch. He said, and smart, f- and phones. Oh, yeah. He said, smart watches and phones are yesterday's technology. Well, what it said in this article that I found <laughs> Release date estimate, okay. Is that, uh, okay. Uh, Some estimates provide an uh, ambitious release of 2022. It's more likely we'll see it closer to 2030. So that's basically the release date with it. Uh, phone price. Let's check out the price. 800 to 1,200. That's pretty standard. Okay. 
pre-order. Pre-order, we know how that goes with Elon Musk, so I can, you can pre-order now probably. You're not going to see it for a while. All right, let's see the features. This is, the, this is supposed to be the best bet. What do we got? The battery's got to be better, right? That's, that's got to be the first That's got to be the first thing they got to fix. Solar charging is one. What Satellite is internet. Nice. Uh, vehicle control. This is all... If you yeah. own a Tesla, Tesla yeah. phone, duh. Of course. That makes so no much sense. No question about it. I have such an issue with cars. Mm. Uh, at, like, I swear after a while, the Bluetooth function just stops working. Really? Like, with other people's cars that I've been in as well, or yeah. friends of mine cars and my car now as well. I have to like sometimes reset it just for it to pick up the phone. Where it never used to do that. It used to automatically connect. Now it's well. If it can connect to my Wonder Boom every time I'm nearby, then surely the car should be the same, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyway, if you've got, and the last one there. Oh, there's crypto mining and also Neuralink support. Yeah. So once you've got the Neuralink, you can just control that bitch on the. Uh, on yeah. The phone. Well, that's what I would. I mean, I get the car. I'm yes. the Tesla is the next bar, car I'm buying. There's just no. There's no argument there. I want a Tesla, and if, if the phone comes out and the Neuralink comes out, chip me, baby. I'm ready. Ready to go. Chip me up. Actually, I, I want to let Bill Gates I, chip me, but I'll let this guy chip me. Speaking of the Neuralink support, it's the, it's the South African thing. You, um, I know you're the content <laughs> king, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I watched a TV show the other day, and it is called no, it's a movie, and it's called Spiderhead. Have you heard of this? <laughs> Spiderhead. It's is got that Channing Tatum? Liam Hemsworth in it. Oh. No. What's it? Is, no. Is it's it Liam? Ch- it's Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Is Chris it? Chris Hemsworth in yeah. Spiderhead. What the, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but what it is, is uh, it's this company testing these brain drugs on people. It's new on Netflix, right? New on Netflix. Yeah. And they've got like a, a thing on their lower back, which is similar to like what pregnant women have, on, like uh, the epidural. It injects like painkillers straight into their spinal cord. Oh, uh, yeah. But they've got a bunch of chemicals in there and they're testing them on people. And basically, Liam... Oh, what's his... Hemsworth? Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Chris, Chris, He's got, on his phone. He's basically... You talking about got, fucking Thor? Yeah. Yeah. He's got a, on his phone. He basically has different chemicals and one of them is called like love actin. And he can just crank it up and then that person feels like in love or like super present it's all chemical isn't it and it's so. all chemical and so he's just based and he can like make people go to sleep he can make them angry he can make them relive experiences and shit like that so it's a cool movie you should watch it but it's looking like if we do get hooked up to this Neuralink, that will probably be what life is like you can just turn up your gratitude or you can turn up your focus or you can turn down your anger and shit like that you know what i mean um In if, full it is, control. if it's equipped with those chemicals that you can potentially release right uh unless the computer is somehow able to control your brain in a synthetic way it could just fi- uh, fire different synapses in your brain yeah right so it's you know it's got electrical current so no need for, for chemical then nah right nah. does that mean that you could can you could then increase the dopamine uh, to the point where it feels like you're on morphine, probably or on I'd heroin so. without actually having any of that damaging stuff happen to your body. Like I said, <laughs> chip me up. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> imagine us during the podcast, and I'm just like, <laughs> one of the things that makes heroin turn up my heroin. <laughs> one of the thing that makes heroin dangerous is the fact that you're dumping a bunch of that chemical into your brain at once. This is. <laughs> This is my problem with Neuralink, right? Uh-huh. If you have it yes. all the time, yeah. does it not go away? Go- what? When you do a ton of drugs, right? Yes. Your serotonin basically... Um, it's like the same as taking steroids, right? When you're giving yourself testosterone, your body stops making it because it thinks it has it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, you start to get it's like the same tits. concept when you're trying to lose... <laughs> trying to lose fat when your your body thinks you're running you're burning calories it's telling you maybe like slow down because you want to burn your food resources it's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know yes so yes. when you're taking drugs and your serotonin's going through the roof because you've taken some mdma yeah the next day yes. feels like shit yeah your baseline you, is lower because your baseline is lower right yeah so yeah. will your baseline decrease when you're getting technological dopamine probably or serotonin probably release? i'd say it would i'd say it would 
Would it? I reckon it would. Because, look, a drug isn't giving... Like, heroin doesn't give you dopamine. It allows your brain to release the dopamine it's already got. You understand what I'm saying? And so you're flooding the dopamine you've already got stored up all through the brain. And then the hair, taking more heroin is not going to make you produce more dopamine. You st- it's still going to take the same amount of time for it to come back. I think with the Neuralink, you could possibly um, reverse it. Yeah. Probably. You, could con- you could program your brain to think that you do not have enough testosterone so that your body would produce more. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, I think that's where it would probably be helpful. So when you don't have enough serotonin, uh, your phone can analyze that. And mm. instead of providing something like MDMA yeah. type of feeling to your brain so that you can feel happy, yes. it's going to maybe uh, be able to convince your brain that it needs to produce yeah, it can just More. it can just say to you, "Hey, bro, take a rest for the next two days. Just relax, read a book, maybe look at the sunrise." No, 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 that's not what I mean <laughs> at all. <laughs> Meditate the, a little the, bit, drink a green self, tea, self help shit, read a book. <laughs> you know how your phone tells you to breathe. I was just talking about this shit. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Club girl does yoga now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut, shut up. up dude shut up dude <laughs> should we watch that clip yeah let's watch the clip <laughs> <laughs> this is us talking is about a, brain chemicals <laughs> this is a perfect segue perfect segue <laughs> so anyway we found this clip <laughs> you think it's fucking hilarious <laughs> do you know that they say if you have lots of muscle glycogen you use the glycogen your muscles actually shut eat. up <laughs> thanks Chris. Thank Shut up, guys. dude. Shut well, up, dude. That's boring as fucking all get out. Dude, come on. Let me speak. Let me be. Glycogen. Well, look over at me, first of all. Don't dude, look. hey. Glycogen is fucking boring to talk about. Dude, hey, let me tell you something. I'll look at you. But when I turn my head, you better be in a lab coat. Because you're talking about glycogen. Now, if you're not in a lab coat, you have to stop talking. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> hey. Hey. So anyway, my dopamine uh, receptors were uh, uh, overused. Yes, the, uh, the the neurons that typically fire towards my endorphins through the uh, cere- cerebral... Ah, uh, the medulla cor- oblongata. The 